Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where we're down here in London for a bit of a festive walk round. Are you feeling Christmassy? I am feeling very festive, but I haven't got a Christmas jumper. I need to get one. You do? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our decorating for Christmas vlog at home. The house looks really nice and we really do appreciate all of your kind comments. But Christmas is really about to start getting going now here on the Sandbrook Adventures. We're going to have a walk around London, check out some of the Christmas lights, some of the shops for Christmas and so much more. Come and join us. I love London at Christmas time. Having a walk around, seeing all the wonderful Christmas lights, and of course, doing a little bit of Christmas shopping as well. And yeah, we're starting off here on the busiest shopping street in the UK. That is, of course, Oxford Street. And yeah, it's gonna be getting dark in the next 30 minutes or so. So we're gonna walk down and see the lights. And yeah, we'll stop in Salvages, have a look around there. And then by the time we come out, hopefully it'll be starting to get dark so we can see all the wonderful lights here. We'll then head down Regent Street, have a little stroll through Leicester Square, down into Covent Garden. And yeah, check all that out along the way. Gonna be really nice. And just a few minutes walk down Oxford Street, we've arrived here at Salfridge & Co, the huge department store. And yeah, one of the famous things about Salfridges is the window displays what they do throughout the year, but especially at Christmas time. Look at that. How nice is that? <laughs> it's a really cool one, this. The curtains open up, then it reveals Santa. There he is with all your Christmas presents. And he's got a nice gold car there as well. How nice is that? It really is the most wonderful time of the year and who doesn't love candy canes at Christmas? This is a lovely display. And look at all the gingerbread houses down there. And you've actually got a bit of news in regards to a gingerbread house, haven't we? I have purchased a build your own gingerbread house and we will be doing a video putting it all together. Hey, so stay tuned. I'm yeah, looking forward to that one. Yeah, it should be nice. Putting one of those together and Charlotte's got some good ideas for baking as well. So stay tuned for that. Keep your comments coming in. Yeah, look at that. You actually got the salvages building down down there. Oh, that is awesome. Actually there's a gingerbread house or a gingerbread department store should it be. Aww. And you keep looking at all these windows all day. Look at this one. Imagine me standing in there with a bauble wrapped around me at the bottom. That'd be nice wouldn't it? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, they do a really good job. And yeah all the displays you've actually got all the nice garlands around. They're not decorated but they have got lights in all the way around. Yeah all these displays. Got so many windows all the way down. Let's go and have a look at the main event inside, up to the Christmas store in Salfridges here in London. And here we are inside. Look at this big display with all the glitter balls all the way up there to the ceiling in the big atrium. Oh, it always looks spectacular in here. Let's head to the Christmas shop. There's some pretty big baubles on there. Look at those. Come down to the Christmas shop. Oh, look at this. Hello. Oh, this is really nice, all the display around here. It's like going into a cinema. I think that's the story this year. It's like going kind of on stage. All your Salvages ornaments down here. You get the bag, you can get a yellow London bus just there. I quite like that one with the tree on the back. <laughs> that's a good one. Big Salvages tree. All very yellow. And yeah, it's even got the yellow bow on the top. And the hamper just there too. Here we go, Charlie. You got some nice headpieces just over here. Headpieces, they're just fantastic. Yeah, nice, eight pounds. Oh, look at all these. They got handbags. We got the little baby's first Christmas ones. And oh look, we got the festive turkey over here. Twenty-two pounds. Expensive. Wow. Some of these baubles, but they are very nice. They though. are. It's one of them. You can just buy like one really yeah. nice collectible one each year, and then add to your uh, collection just there. Mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. All the lights. Look at all these. Oh, that tree is stunning. Look at that. Oh, that is beauty. Sand to stop here on the tree. Yeah, that is very nice. Like the classic kind of Christmas, you know, like what we went for in the kitchen. Hopefully our gingerbread house will turn out a little bit like this one. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, that's it. Music on. <laughs> Well, I guess if you love ice cream that much, you can put this beauty on your tree here. How nice is that? Yeah. <laughs> they always have some really quirky decorations and salvages. And yeah, look at these different ones here, all the celebrities. <laughs> Now Charlotte over here quite like the little material Christmas decorations, don't you? Look at this octopus! Oh, how much is he? It's 14 pounds. Oh, that's a lot of money, oh. but he is quite nice. Yeah, all these nice. ones down here. Big stockings as well. Great selection in here. 
And you've got the 24 carat bold selection just down here with all these golds and yeah, a little bit of silver mixed in there as well. Yeah, these are very nice. Maybe we can have a gold tree at some point. You know me, I'd have a house full of Christmas trees, like every room. Maybe we'll have one in the bedroom next year. <laughs> Freshen it up a bit. Well, that's all for the section with decorations. And yeah, some nice stuff in there. They actually moved it down to lower ground this year. Felt like it was better when it was upstairs. Oh. Look at him just there. He's lovely. How much are we talking, Charlotte? 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Oh, it's like <laughs> another world, isn't it? Yeah, these are nicely presented, though. Back outside of Salvages then now, looking in the windows. There we go, can you imagine me in this outfit just here? Comment down below, shall I get it? Probably cost about 10 grand or something. Uh, but no, I do like looking round. Like I said, just, I think the Christmas was better in there last year when it was upstairs. Not too sure why they didn't put it on the upper levels, because also, kind of encourage you to look at other things, whereas now, you go in straight downstairs and you can be back out again. So it's easy for the shopper, but if you think from a financial point of view for them, it'll work out better having it higher up in the store. Uh, but no, I enjoyed looking round in there and seeing everything. Them. I do think the displays are really good this year though, uh, how you've got these curtains, it's like you're on stage like at the theatre which is really good, fits with London nice. It's a very impressive building salvages as well isn't it and yeah it lights up nice at night too and yeah it's starting to get dark you can see you've got all the stars all the lights hanging down here on Oxford Street and yeah we'll see those look a lot better as it gets darker as we're walking down making our way down towards Disney Store now one of the only ones left. Oh look at this we've got the Starlight Ferry just here on the side of Oxford Street. So yeah, just behind it, some more wonderful lights as well. All the way down. So yeah, this is where they used to have them big blue archways, if you remember. Yeah, they've gone now. And they were replaced with these string lights down the middle. So yeah, it looks a bit different. I mean, things can't stay the same forever, can they? I mean, I do miss the big archways. They always made a really nice photo as you were coming down here. But yeah, they've kept the tree off to the right. But yeah, that's not looking in the best uh, state, is it? Look at that. Best Christmas tree in London will be coming up though, down in Covent Garden towards the end of the video. But yeah, look at that. I mean, yeah, that's uh, not looking very presentable there, is it? Like, what's going on with that tree, Charlotte? What's going on? Like, half the lights are on, half the lights are off. It doesn't look great. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what is looking really presentable though, your new coat Charlotte. So basically we came down to London and I actually forgot my coat so I had to go and buy a new one. Luckily though, you wanted a new coat anyway. Yeah, so I've got this nice new long one keeping me warm. Yeah, it was from New Look wasn't it? Yeah, and I got £10 off because I'd spent over £50, it was only 45 which is fantastic. Yeah, nice new coat, give Woo! us a twirl Charlotte. Woo! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, right back down this way. Bit of a wet evening here in London, but we always make the most of it here at the Sandbrook Adventures. And yeah, let's have a little look inside the Disney store here on the left hand side. We love the Disney store, even though we go to the Disney parks a lot and they've got loads of shops, we still get excited coming down here to Oxford Street and having a look inside this one, don't we? I'm so excited! Hey, let's go and have a look inside. <laughs> Blowing away. They always do some really good displays in here for the festive season. As you can see, you've got the castle, which is always here. We yeah, they put the decorations on. We've got Mickey and Minnie up there and the season's greetings as well. How nice is that? We've even got the Mickey wreath too. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey, I love the music. I love this. This came out like a week after we got back from Florida. And Walt Disney so, World. Nice. How much? 971 Spirit yeah. Jersey. Go on, how much is the price? 72 pounds. I do feel like Spirit Jersey it just came so expensive. Now. They've gone up a lot, haven't they? Yeah. It's nice though. That's lovely. Oh, and figments down here as well. One little spark lights up for you. Oh, I do like that. Twenty-four pounds. My favourite purple dragon. Oh, well, these movies coming out soon. Oh, I'm oh. so excited. Well, you want to say soon? He's been at Walt Disney Imagineering. They've been uh, teasing it. See, that's exciting. Looking forward to that. Careful with that, Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. Look at all these down here. They are beautiful. I'll tell you what, I do love my Disney ornaments. Oh, right, two one there. That's quite nice, isn't it? They're lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are some of my favourites. £24 though, very expensive. They are nice just there. Yeah, I remember getting mine about 10 years ago, similar to this, that I've got in the kitchen. You see them in the decorating video. And yeah, they're about 10, 12 euros. Yeah, gone up a lot in price in 10 years. That's inflation for you. Oh, these are nice. Some of my favourite items they sell in Disney Store and also at the parks. Here you've got the original Anaheim Castle, 175 on the left. And that's actually the updated Hong Kong Castle on the right there for 160. When I was in Hong Kong, it was obviously a clone of the castle in Anaheim. So yeah, I'd love to go back and see that at some point. Now it's been updated. <laughs> just downstairs now, yeah, it's actually on three levels, this store. Top level's all about Marvel. You know, just come downstairs to see some of the other items they've got. Yeah, I love this Cars bauble. That's quite cool. 
nice Christmas trees. Oh, what you got here, Charlotte? I get a lot of comments asking where my Nightmare Before Christmas suitcase is from. It is from Shop Disney. You can get it online. I love the suitcase. And how much is this? Um, I think it's, how much was it? 48 pounds. Oh, not too bad. No, it's not. I love the suitcase. Is that what you paid about? 50 quid, was I got it? it on sale. I think I paid 30 for mine. Oh, it's not too bad, is it? back out now after having a walk there through the Disney store. We always like having a stroll through there when we come down here to London. Yeah, they have some nice bits in there too. I do love all the Christmas ornaments in the Disney store. It makes you miss having them all the way around. I mean, our local one was in Derby when I was a kid growing oh, I up. I miss it so much. Only coming to the London one and not having them anywhere else. It's so sad. Oh. We made our way though back out and as you can see John Lewis is looking very festive. Yeah, all the lights up there. Are they twinklies? They could be. I've got an obsession with twinkly lights. I think I've started it for a lot of you as well. Comment down below if you've bought some of the twinkly lights. And if you're watching this and you don't have a clue what I'm going on about, check out our video where we decorated our house for Christmas that went on last week on the channel. But yeah, there we go. You've got the big plant up there. Is that the, the fly trap, is it, on there? The Venus fly trap. I believe it's from the John Lewis Christmas advert, but I haven't actually seen it yet. I'm not. Well, it's I that Venus it. fly trap's in all the John Lewis shops, so I'm guessing it's got something to do with that. Yeah, that's quite nice, that is. It looks like it's an inflatable piece <laughs> on the side. We'll get a better view when this bus moves. There we go. <laughs> that's it. It's interesting, that. Venus fly trap, isn't it? Yeah, I take it that's why you've got all the green lights hanging down the building as well. Yeah, that's actually really oh, quite go. nice. They're playing the Christmas advert. It's a big Venus fly In the trap. window. I suppose this is their kind of signature store here, isn't it, really, on Oxford Street? Yeah, lights looking good. Really nice. So we're just going to check out Skate's West End now here on Hanover Square. And yeah, I've never seen this before. I'm not too sure if it's new or not, or if I've just missed it. But yeah, you've got all the nice lights and an ice skating rink over here, which looks really good. I mean, it's not that busy at the moment. I imagine as we get close to Christmas, it will be. And yeah, it feels like it's later, doesn't it, now the nights have drawn in. But yeah, it's like not even five o'clock yet. Yeah, look at this, very nice. You've got the bridge going over. Looks like a bit of a bar area in the middle. And yeah, that looks lovely. Instead of it being like one big open rink, it just kind of goes round the edge. £12.50 to skate on here. So yeah, it's not too bad for central London prices. Yeah, lovely. Very good setup. Like how you've got the bar down here. I like covered over tent area too. It's very nice. All the snowflakes. And all the benches down here too. I'd imagine, yeah, as it gets later on in the evening, to get really busy and more kind of atmospheric down here. We have a really good setup. It's nice how the ring kind of all goes around the edge instead of being one big open one. Yeah, and that's lovely. We've got a Christmas tree just over there as well. Oh, I love this time of the year. And we've got loads of Christmas markets and light trails and all sorts coming up. We've got more planned than ever before for this Christmas here on the Sandbrook Adventures. So we've made our way now from that ice skating rink here onto Regent Street to see some of my favourite Christmas lights in the whole of London. The angel Christmas lights are such a highlight of coming to see London at Christmas time. It's really nice down here. So we're going to stroll down here and uh, yeah, show you them. They look amazing, these. Wow, Christmas in the big city. It always looks incredible coming down here. And look at the size of these as well just the logistics of putting these up like they close the road at night and all the wires holding them up these are the things that i always think about especially loving christmas decorations and christmas lights and having that fascination like how do you even start with putting something like this up i mean look at all the connections at the top there for it like it's amazing i'll give you a bit of a zoom in from here look at that bus has stopped right there so we can just zoom past it and give you a zoom in looking down like, how amazing is that all the way down Regent Street here in London, twinkling away, like they look stunning. And what really makes it down here as well are all the buildings that are just lit up anyway, all the stunning architecture. Yeah, incredible. They are beautiful and everybody stops taking photos and taking it all in. Like this is the most Christmassy street to walk down in London. My favourite place for Christmas in London is Covent Garden. We've got that coming up, but in terms of an actual street like this for shopping, this is way nicer than Oxford Street. I feel like it's time for Oxford Street to have some better lights actually now than what they've got. I mean, they're still impressive to see with the um, like kind of the curtains all the way down with the stars, but yeah, like this for me, I find these magical. Like just walking down here and thousands of people coming down here to see them do the Christmas shopping and see all the beautiful lights. And yeah, these massive angels.
and they're all slightly different as well so when you look at them from different angles they're kind of doing different poses and shapes and the light patterns on there too beautiful one of the most beautiful buildings in the whole of London is the Liberty Department Store here, just off Regent Street. And yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, look at all the Christmas trees on the outside. And yeah, it's really nice in here with the Christmas display. So I'll have a little look inside. It does get very busy in here. It's an older building, but that has the charm to it. You know, and look at all the window displays as well. Yeah, Liberty, really nice. How much charm and character does this have in here? And yeah, it's all the wooden effect and the stairs that you come up on as well that are all wooden. They really add to it. Are you okay, Charlotte? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and look down this way. Get off it some rugs. Christmas, this way. No, oh, much like all these department stores, they have all the London Christmas decorations and ornaments here, which are nice. Purple. Liberty just over there. Very nice. <laughs> the bus just there with the tree on. Imagine. <laughs> The pigeon there with the crown on as well. Very nice. Let's make our way around into the main part of the Christmas shop. Now this is how to do a Christmas display. Look at this. Oh, it's just the charm of the building as well that really makes it. The let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Oh, these are really nice. Look at the moon just there. They used to have like a big light that used to go outside on the porch. So it was like a big yellow moon. Yeah, that's a bit more classy. These are nice. Not too badly priced, actually. $7.95. Yeah, for a couple of premium decorations. Nice and colourful down here. And you can also get hands just there. Hand with jewels. $29.95. Woo! That expensive. Got some pumpkins there, have we as well? Have a Halloween slash Christmas tree all together. These are what they had in Suffrages. Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? Nice yeah. headpieces. I love this building though. It's one of my favourites in here. Just the charm of it. Cheaper in here. This is £12 and Selfridges 9 dollars Oh, there you go. If you want one of those, get yourself to Liberty. <laughs> If you have seen our decorating for Christmas video at home, you'll know that I like everything colour coordinated. And yeah, they kind of put them all in sections, which is very nice. But still, I wouldn't just put like a toadstool on the tree on its own. You know, you need to do like the whole kind of theme. You know, that's what I like to do anyway. So it matches. We need another tree, I think, for next year. Maybe try and get one in the dining room. <laughs> have like an old school Christmas, like some like nostalgic things and uh, just random things like toadstools as well pigs. be nice pigs <laughs> and then we can put your little mice friends on oh, there as well I, love the mice. Yeah, I have hit them in the tree again this year at home <laughs> in the living room some very nice items in here probably my favorite things i've seen so far this christmas i like this globe just here it is 34.95 so it's quite expensive look at that theme park worldwide <laughs> Oh, really nice department store, Liberty. Always great having to walk through, not just for the items that they sell, but also the building itself. Welcome to Carnaby, London. Yeah, look at the lights down here. They always do a very impressive display throughout the year as well. They do different displays. Their Christmas is always fantastic. Look at all the planets, really nice and colorful. Here in the Carnaby universe. Oh, how nice is that? Lovely and colorful. Yeah, it's a little bit rainy tonight, but it's not too bad. Oh, that looks brilliant, doesn't it? Really good. Fantastic display. All the way down. So yeah, let's have a stroll down Carnaby. Stunning, aren't they, all the planets down here? And again, the logistics of setting this up. I mean, the lucky with this, it's not an actual road underneath with traffic. You know, it's just foot traffic down here. Just pedestrians, but still quite a setup to put all this together. Lots of nice little London pubs and things down the back streets here as well. It's not just the main kind of street here. Lots of little bits off to the side. The scale of these as well is very impressive. Yeah, I'd say that's about four or five meters in diameter. Brilliant. So magical walking around London at night, taking it all in. And the best thing is that this doesn't cost anything to do, free of charge, just to walk around and have a nice evening. Lovely. And it looks just as vibrant from the other side here as well. The Carnaby Street Universe. Beautiful to come and see. And again, everybody's just standing here taking photos and videos. Lovely atmosphere.
Oh, and we've had this for quite a few years. As we're in Soho, it's so ho 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 ho. <laughs> and we've left Carnaby Street now and back here on Regent Street looking at the beautiful angels again, hanging over the streets. These Christmas lights are quite different, aren't they? It's like scissors cutting the ribbon that are wrapping your presents up. Yeah, I like that, a little bit different. Heading on down now towards Burlington Arcade just over here. There's some more lovely lights. This always looks very festive. Over here on the left hand side. Yeah, look at this, all the nice trees, real trees as well. And yeah, let's have a little look here to the left. Wow, how beautiful is this? All the wreaths. Oh, this is so nice. I like how they use real trees and garlands as well. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Lovely with all the wreaths all the way down the middle there too. Yeah, it looks great. Lining the whole avenue. Ralph Lauren over there looking very nice. Yeah, all the posh shops down here now. And yeah, some really nice lights as we make our way down. Look at this. Oh, what a display. We'll cross over in a second and get a better look at that. Yeah, this is the place to be, New Bond Street. All the big fancy shops. This really is the place to come if you love Christmas lights. Oh, amazing. Really classy as well, isn't it? All the wreaths, the big red bows. And what a display just over there on Cartier. Oh, that is beautiful. And right next door as well, Boodles. All the garlands all wrapped around the windows. How nice is this? Another big display on Chanel right next door there too. Wow, that looks amazing. It's like a big balloon, like an air balloon. Oh, that has been done so well. Really classy. I like how you've got the Christmas music playing outside as well. On New Bond Street, London, Christmas 2023. How nice is that? I think that looks so classy, like with the big red bows. All real trees as well. There is something about the real trees that look the part. And there's a view right opposite. Cartier. I think I'm saying it right, Cartier. 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 Oh, we've got the TA on. I think we? it's Cartier. Is it? I you think. can tell I don't do pot brown. <laughs> if it was Poundland, I'd know how to say it, you know, or B&M or something. But there we go. What do you think to it, though? Oh, this looks stunning, doesn't it? It looks so nice. It's a very beautiful display, that is. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the Sandbrook Adventures on YouTube from the Metropolitan Police just there. I love it. <laughs> a little cameo in the video. More beautiful real trees here. These are being decorated to perfection as well. Very nice, that's nice above the top as well. Yeah, I love this little street down here. Could not afford anything in any of these shops, but just coming around to see it at Christmas is very special. Chanel, looking amazing. A magical night with Chanel. Just there, and yeah, they put like a full facade on the front and all the LEDs, kind of like it's snowing and the big star on the top there too. I mean, the scaffolding next door does take away a little bit of the glamour, but it's still very nice. Then yeah, further down, you've got some more decorations there. It's like a big kind of reindeer handler by the looks of it going across. I think that's what it is. It's hard to tell. It looks like bones. It does look a bit like bones now, yeah, doesn't it? Possibly so. But still, I think Cartier takes it just there. That's how we're saying it. <laughs> Cartier, is it? Yeah. <laughs> this is lovely. Oh, what a shot with this tree as well in the foreground. That's Christmas in London. So we cross over and have a closer look. All the lights, yeah, you got the garlands round and like the little light boxes as well. Oh, it's beautiful. All the displays in the window, very nice. Oh, look at this. High security. <laughs> Here's some of the smaller displays are really charming down here as well as we make our way down towards Fortnum and Mason. Nice display from Stella McCartney over there as well, a bit of nostalgia, but with LED now as well. Yeah, it's got that old school look, but of course all energy saving. Yeah, it looks really nice. I do love the LED lighting. And a look at the Royal Arcade just here. Yeah, all the lights shining up into the ceiling. More gardens and trees all the way down too. 
Oh, I think Cartier stole the show down there, don't you, Charlotte? You won't let me get off from that Cartier. Cartier. Well, you know what? There's another one just there for you. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I might be wrong. Another Cartier. Cartier, <laughs> however you say it. I don't have a clue. But uh, yeah, let's carry on down this way. We're we'll at Fortnum and Mason in a moment. I can just spend all night walking around London looking at Christmas displays, at all these shops and oh, so many like, little hidden gems around as well. They're always nice to see. But yeah, we'll make our way just around this corner and check out Fortnum and Mason. Yeah, 2023, they always do a big advent calendar on the front of this department store and you can see it just down there. And yeah, every day closer to Christmas, of course, in December, and they'll light up different parts of it. But yeah, it always has the year on the side, of course, 2023. And yeah, also next to that, you got all the garlands wrapped around the windows too. Another look into Burlington Arcades. Yeah, we saw the other end of that further off. So yeah, you could just walk straight through, but it's definitely worth having a look at them lights. Where they were just. And yeah, it's actually stopped raining now, which is quite nice as well. Yeah, we'll have a look on this side of the street first, and then we'll cross over and have a closer look at it. Oh, and there it is on the other side of the road. Stunning Christmas display on Fortnum and Mason. Yeah, shame there's that street light there. It takes away from it a little bit, doesn't it? But it is still very impressive. If you don't fancy walking around on foot, then you have actually got the Christmas lights bus tour that you can do there. Hop on, hop off London. See, so yeah, you can jump on that and it'll take you around. I prefer being on foot though myself. Yeah, that's a nice view. I'm glad these lights are on red because, yeah, I'll have to be view blocked then by the uh, number 23 bus to Trafalgar Square. But yeah, that's lovely. So I mentioned that it's a big advent calendar. Can you see on all of the windows, you actually got all the numbers on there as well, counting down to Christmas. So yeah, each day that goes by in December, they'll light those up. Hey, and you've got more awesome window displays over here at Fortnum and Mason as well. I like this one, you've got the bottles just peeking out from behind the doors. There's one down the back there as well, there it is. Just keeps popping out. <laughs> Hawaiian Christmas Day playing in the background. Hey, yeah, that one very often over here. And they know that Christmas will be. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, look at that. I love all these displays. I just love this time of year, to be honest. These are nice, aren't they? Little spinning that bottles. Is so sweet. I like that. What a display. That's a beautiful Christmas tree down there. I'd say that's the same sort of size as our one in the garden. It's got your twinklies on, though, has it? <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed. All the Christmas puddings. That's a great display up the middle. I like that. Like a Christmas pudding chandelier. Oh. We've got some beautiful wreaths here as well, not for sale, but as part of the decoration. Remember when me and Dad actually made one of them wreaths out of a hula hoop and some old garland? <laughs> <laughs> it turned out really good. They have a lot of nice dining items and tableware in here, don't they? This is lovely. Look at the little mice on this plate. Go on, how much is it? It's £130 Ooh. for a plate. Oh, it's nice. Last year we had some of them crackers in here, weren't they? Like a £1,000 or something. I can't believe that. We're going to see if we can find them. <laughs> have a look. See if they've gone up in price. We haven't seen them yet, though. Yeah, these are great. So you've got like a big kind of banquet table. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> look at this very premium looking Santa there. That's nice, it even comes on a little plinth as well. £850. The carriage just there as well. Georgian Elegance, this section's called. Yeah, this is nice. Look at this, carousel. I'm pretty sure this is the same one that's available in Costco, actually. So I was saying I really like it, but it's where to put it. I mean, you know, we've got a lot of lovely Christmas decorations, and yeah, this would be really nice, but it's where it would go. I mean, we could kind of fit it maybe on the dining room table, but then when we have family or friends around, we don't really have space. Yeah, it is lovely. I've actually got the little Ferris wheel down here too. And the Nutcracker with like a snow globe in the top. That's different. These London scenes are beautiful as well. The London Eye on there. House of Parliament. Playing the piano just down there. Yeah, especially like the London one. Look at the Christmas puddings. They're doing a show here now. How awesome is this? Oh, I've never seen anything quite like that before. Yeah, they're all on little motors. Look at them all at the top. <laughs> that is very cool. What a way to draw your shoppers in. Yeah, that's awesome. We've seen some crackers, some normal ones, but we haven't seen the very expensive premium ones, so maybe nobody bought them last year because they were too expensive. <laughs> I mean, that is cool. And so bring us some figgy pudding. <laughs> Figgy pudding. 
<laughs> Charlotte's got something funny now, talking of figgy pudding. Please bring me some figgy pudding and it's figment in a Christmas pudding. Oh, <laughs> he's not liking that flame on his head though. That surely. is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Magical. Oh, we're back outside then now, and yeah, all the bells are chiming on the front there too. One of my favourite displays in the whole of London. Well worth coming to see, it's a spectacle. It really is. And yeah, them Christmas puddings were great. So we've almost arrived now into Piccadilly Circus with the big screen just over there. And yeah, more lights down here. And we're going to head down to Leicester Square. Normally you've got the little pop-up Christmas market down in Leicester Square. So yeah, we're going to have a look, see if that's back for this year too. I'm sure it will be. Yeah, we're going to have a little look. As we continue on with our walk around London at Christmas 2023. I always like doing this walk. I've done it for years, but I've really only started documenting it really here on the Sandbrook Adventures over the past few years. You know, it's really nice taking you all along. On another note, I love the London Underground roundel just there. How nice is that? In Covent Garden, they've actually got the Transport for London Museum that's well worth visiting. And I have got a video on the channel from there as well. So make sure you check it out. Back when the channel was Adventure Shorten a few years ago. How nice is that? Lights all the way down and the big tree at the bottom as well. Beautiful. You also get a lot of performing arts around here, a lot of live music. And all the theatres are down here in the West End as well. Looks like the big fountain's having some work done. A bit of restoration going on. There are lots of great shows down here, including one of my favourites that's currently showing, has been for a couple of years now, and that's Back to the Future, the musical. Comment down below if you've seen it yet. I've seen it many times, and in fact, we're watching it tonight. Yeah, we managed to get some cheap tickets tonight to watch it, so that's exciting. Charlotte's first time as well. I've never seen it before, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, you're not really a Back to the Future fan like myself, because you haven't seen it. I love a show though, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Lots of great effects in it as well, so yeah, we're going to be seeing that. Obviously, you can't film the show, but yeah, that's where we're heading to tonight. Our Rock Cafe in Piccadilly Circus too. Yeah, you got the cafe itself and the huge shop next to it there as well. I know quite a few people who like collecting the Hard Rock Cafe t-shirts. Yeah, I do like hearing all the live music as you're walking around London. And just the architecture of all the buildings, stunning. Yeah, it's cleared up quite nice now, the weather. Let's make our way down here into Leicester Square. And we've got these big starlights hanging over as well. Oh, we've got five seconds across, can we do it? <laughs> we made it. Who remembers as well when there used to be an indoor mini theme park slash arcade over here? That was great. Just where Kingdom Retreats is now. It actually had a drop tower in there. And that same drop tower went down to Funland at Hailing Island when it was removed from here. Fun little fact for you, now it's just a sweet shop. Yeah, it was massive in there. It goes way back, that building does. And yeah, here's all the stars. I don't want a love for Christmas. Hey, a bit of Mariah Carey as you're walking down Leicester Square. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I feel like they've got more of these stars this year. I'm sure they've had like an extra couple. Didn't used to be this many, I don't think. It was very nice. As we're heading down. Yeah, all the show venues around here on the West End. Lots of great live shows. Frozen still on the moment as well. Of course, The Lion King, another classic. Yeah, Frozen, I'd definitely recommend. Another one of my faves down here in London. Well, yeah, we'll head down this way. And yeah, we've got Christmas in Leicester Square, just around this corner. I've always loved the Swiss clock just there as well. When it chimes, all the bells go. And yeah, the M&M store on the left, M&M World, that used to be like a Swiss visitor center. So that's why the clock's there out the front. Fun fact for you, Lego store, that got remodeled a couple of years ago. Really nice in there, it's even bigger now. And yeah, some big models in there too. It's got no queue, which I'm surprised about. Normally, they're queuing all the way down the side, but it is a weeknight. And there's also a Greg's down here now, and that's open till late. So when you come out and see in the shows, you can grab a Greg's if you want a steak bait or a sausage roll. Why not? And here it is. Yeah, this is running through until the 7th of January. You have got a little entertainment venue in here too. La Cirque, Cabaret Circus, Comedy and Music. Of course, it's free to enter and you've got all the nice lights and the markets down here too. Let's have a little walk through. It's not actually too busy. All the sweets just over there, pick and mix. 
three pounds sixty nine per one hundred grams. Yeah, that's that little show venue, and this just gets brought in literally for Christmas. Normally, it's a big open green space, and you completely transform it. You have some mini winter wonderland, and of course, the main winter wonderland itself in Hyde Park. We have got a vlog on the channel over on Theme Park Worldwide from that, so make sure you check it out. Showing you all the updates, the prices, and the ride offering for Hyde Park Winter Wonderland this year. Oh, I can smell that bratwurst. Oh, you like them, don't you? We like the Dutch pancakes, don't we, actually? How oh, are they? Mini Dutch pancakes? Oh, yeah, I think they are. Oh, not Nutella. It ruins it for me. Not a Nutella fan. all these booths and yeah we're going to be visiting Birmingham Christmas markets Manchester and quite a few other now, bits as well Manchester if you watch the vlog from last year we are determined to find the bird whistle oh, not the bird whistle the again. bird whistle from last year that we never got we're on the hunt for it this year oh, you had to go and ruin a nice <laughs> vlog didn't you mention the bird whistle the bird whistle oh we don't want that comment down below you don't want to see the bird whistle do you like we don't want that oh we like them oh. don't we Chocolate kisses, gift box, fifteen pounds for twelve. That's quite expensive, isn't it? Southern prices, though, I suppose. We are down here in London. But yeah, oh, I can't believe you had to go and mention that. We're having a lovely Christmassy festive vlog. As you mentioned, some tacky little the bird the whistle. Bird whistle Everyone so. was like, you need to get the bird whistle. So if we see it, we're going to get it. Don't agree with Charlotte. Yes, on this agree one. with me. Not, on this not one. the bird whistle. Oh, yeah. We got some stalls all around here as well. They're very pretty luxury Christmas decorations and yeah I just like all the lights up there in the trees as well Santa's grill Merry Christmas oh look at that nice bratwurst sausage over there what prices we got if you fancy a bratwurst here in Leicester Square 10 pounds for a bratwurst currywurst 11 pounds frankfurt a nine or a beef sausage 10 pounds nice display festive winter warmers And also places selling Christmas gifts as well. Yeah, like I say, it's free to enter right here in Leicester Square. Yeah, it's nice, that. It's not massive, but it's still a nice little display, which is awesome. I don't think we'll head down to Trafalgar Square because I don't think the tree will be up yet. It's not normally up quite yet in Trafalgar. So yeah, we're not going to head down that way. It's always a gift from uh, Norway every year, that tree. Fun fact for you. Yeah, normally I walk down there and it's not even in place by mid-November, which is late for me. You know, me viewers, I like getting my tree up early. Lots of uh, work going on here. Looks like they're setting up for a film premiere, maybe. Looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, is it closed? Oh, we can't go through. It's, it's blocked. More pretty lights down here. Yeah, it's like a slight diversion instead of carrying on around that part. It's all blocked off for what looks like a big premiere. I mean, normally it's not blocked off quite that much. So yeah, we just do a bit of research. Charlotte's on it, having I'm a look. I'm on it, I'm trying to find it out. <laughs> See if we can see. Yeah, they're very nice, these big stars. Yeah, they're a bit more sparse down this street, but it's how they used to be down further on there, from what I remember. Yeah, there's more of them now. All the nice restaurants down here too. We should make our way towards Covent Garden. Gonna have a stroll around there and the best Christmas tree in London, in my opinion anyway. It's really nice. Perfect for your Instagram photos. Oh Charlotte's good, you found out, haven't you? So the premiere is for Disney Wish. Yeah, it's gonna be coming out, so yeah, I'll have to go and uh, see that at some point. Oh we'll just wait until it's on Disney Plus. But yeah, really nice lights just here as well. St Martin's Lane all the way over the street. So yeah, we've left the Leicester Square area now and making our way down to Covent Garden and we'll see all the lights along the way. Beautiful. Well, we've been having a really nice stroll around London tonight, taking in the sights, the sounds and the smells of Christmas 2023. And we've made it here now to Covent Garden, which always looks incredible. So as you can see, they line all the buildings with all these strings of lights. It must take a long time to do, but it's more than worth it. It looks really nice. And then we're gonna have a look at the shops down here, the main kind of market area and also as well the big Christmas tree that they have down here which they do a really good job, job of every year it's actually a real tree that they put up down here and smother it in lights I think what makes this for me is the fact that they're all them individual strands of lights I think it looks fantastic yeah there's lots of nice bars and restaurants down here too that always make the effort at Christmas as well how nice is this display over here like how you got all the outdoor seating, but you've got the heaters still underneath. 
This is nice, isn't it? Cos Magori. Am I saying that right? Cartier? Yeah. <laughs> How nice is that? What a display. I feel like they had this out here last year. It's very nice. What a display. Santa and his reindeer and some snowmen out the front too. Candy canes. It's lovely, that is. This is quite nice next door. I like the lantern. Very atmospheric, isn't it? How nice is that? Beautiful. And yeah, as we turn this corner, we should be greeted by the huge Christmas tree. This is where it's not very good this year and I've built it up. <laughs> no, it's always good. We always get a really nice tree down here. And the size of the pot that it goes in is huge. Probably got some sad news for you all. It seems like this year. Hey, it's here! <laughs> oh, did I get any of you then? Look at that. That is incredible. I feel like they get a nicer tree each year. Lovely that is. Yeah, the pot is that big underneath. They actually have to concrete it down to the pathway and they completely remove it. Like, photos and videos don't do it justice, to be honest, but it's so nice. Look at that. It is lovely. Yeah, you see all the concrete down there at the bottom. <laughs> Just to stop it falling over. That is incredible. Lots of street entertainment around here too. My favourite Christmas tree in London, one of the best trees you'll ever see. In fact, it's a real tree, and they actually individually have to put all them lights on as well. Um, yeah, it's not like a pre lit tree. Uh, this is where really it's an artificial one, but it looks real. <laughs> but no, you guarantee it's a, actually a real tree. You got all the strobing lights in there too. Actually, it looks better from further back, but yeah, it's huge. I look at the pot just uh, it's taller than all the people around it. <laughs> all the bows on the front. Oh, it's it's so nice that is. Oh, can you see us there, Charlotte, in that bubble? Hey! What a guy. So guys. Nice. Oh, and this makes a really nice photo actually, having a little wagon just out here with the smaller display and then the main tree just over there. Oh, it's lovely that is. Really nice. Yeah, if you're coming to London over Christmas, don't miss it. Your trip down here to Covent Garden. You know what makes it is all the windows with the lights around and yeah, this whole area is very nice. I'll have a little stroll around and go through the middle area just down here too. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it, that? Oh, it's so nice. As you walk around the corner and you see it and you're like, wow, look at the tree. The best have it every year. Oh, no. <laughs> People would be so disappointed if it never came back. I'd be disappointed if I walk around that corner, especially after building it up every year and it's not there. But yeah, I'm sure it will be. And that's the thing. Christmas just seems to get better and better here in Covent Garden. They do a really good job. But yeah, all these streets have got all the lights on all the way around. And yeah, here's the big Christmas photo opportunity. Another one, that's nice. Look at that wreath up there, that's a good one. Oh, I love it. I like how all the garlands are twinkling around at the side too. Yeah, that's lovely. They do a great job with all the decorations around here. Yeah, it's very nice. We'll walk around this way and come back through the middle. You are seeing Frozen as well on the West End and the theatre is just around the corner here and it's a beautiful theatre. The Theatre Royal Drury Lane. How pretty is this? Little outdoor dining area. And a bar in the middle there too. Lovely. Oh, this is good. Here's all the presents being delivered. Yeah, <laughs> no, Christmas isn't about presents. It's about just enjoying the atmosphere and walking around, seeing the lights with family, friends. Am I soon to be wife? Oh, I Charlotte. love that. Oh, so sweet. It's exciting. 2024 is going to be a great year. Oh. the ceiling just creates a lovely atmosphere very nice and there's that huge tree again down there at the bottom are pretty big. Some of the biggest ball walls I've ever seen. Hanging up here in Covent Garden, the most magical place in London at Christmas that you can see for free. And that's the thing, just walking around taking it all in doesn't cost anything, does it? It's nice. Of course they do have some lovely eateries throughout too, but 
you don't need to spend a penny to do this. It's so nice just walking around and seeing it all. Here in Common Garden, we come towards the end of our Christmas 2023 tour around some of the best Christmas lights in London. Not all of them, of course, but some of my favourites I come and see every year. And you've got the Jubilee Market just over there, looking very red with all the garlands and wreaths. And yeah, that's the London Transport Museum that I mentioned earlier on, just down there at the end. Yeah, they have got a really nice shop down there too that sells all your merchandise for London Transport, including cushions and bedding and all sorts based on the material that they use on the different tube trains. <laughs> oh, look at that polar bear just over there, you see him? He's got his hat on. Lovely. Oh, all these buildings, it's so nice. It's like something out of a movie walking down here during the festive season. And just before we make our way to the Adelphi Theatre to watch Back to the Future the musical, we're down here now on the Strand. So have a look at these lovely lights here. Yeah, these are big, hanging over the road. More of your traditional style of Christmas lights that you'd see in a lot of your town centres and city centres, but still very nice. Yeah, lots of theatres still down here too. Yeah, the Adelphi is just down here on the right hand side where I'm really looking forward to seeing this show. I think this is like the sixth time that I've seen it, fifth, sixth time, something like that, but I love it. Can't get enough of this show. And here it is, our final stop for tonight, and that is the Adelphi Theatre for Back to the Future the Musical. So yeah, I first saw this a few years ago, just before COVID-19 hit, and yeah, that was in Manchester. It only ran there for about a week. It was supposed to have a longer run, and yeah, unfortunately, it had to be cancelled because of the pandemic and all theatres closing. What a time that was. I'm just so glad that theatres all opened up again and we can enjoy these amazing performances. Um, but yeah, I've seen it a few times since here in London, and then also, it's now over on Broadway in New York, and I believe there's a touring version as well of this spectacular show. But yeah, whether you're a fan of Back to the Future or not, you'd love it. The effects in here are incredible. And I won't talk too much about those because I don't want to spoil it for you. And also, it's Charlotte's first time seeing it. Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of our vlog tonight here from Christmas 2023 in London. Have you enjoyed it? Oh, I have enjoyed it so much. It's just so nice walking around London and seeing all the pretty lights for the Christmas season. We do it every year and I always really enjoy it. And I know you do too. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, but yeah, I really like going through the different department stores as well. If you're wondering where Harrods was, we did actually go into Harrods earlier on in the day and see their Christmas things too, which is always nice. Um, but I didn't film that because I thought I like getting the vlog started on Oxford Street and kind of showing what you can do on foot walking round. And of course you could walk from uh, Harrods and Knightsbridge, but yeah, it's quite a trek that is. So yeah, I'd recommend getting the tube over and kind of starting uh, by Marble Arch and walking all the way round. But it's been really nice. Enjoyed seeing the Christmas items. I think the stuff in Liberty was probably my favorite. Oh, there was some really nice bits in there. Just really unique stuff for your Christmas tree. Yeah, and Fortnum and Mason as well was great. And to be honest, I never really buy stuff from those because it's way too expensive for me. <laughs> but it's getting the inspiration. It's not all about buying really expensive items at Christmas. You can do a really good display from actually going around to all them shops, getting the inspiration, and then going to some of the cheaper shops like B&M, Home Bargains, uh, buying some bits online as well, and uh, putting together your own display, kind of inspired by those. You don't always have to go for the really expensive stuff to get a great look at Christmas time. Uh, but of course, this is the first of many different Christmas Ooh. vlogs we're gonna be doing traveling around. And so we've got something a bit different coming up next. We're actually heading over to see the Somerset Guy Fawkes Carnival. We're watching it in Glastonbury and you've never seen this before. I am really looking forward to it because I've never seen it and I've heard such great things about it. It's free to attend. It happens at this sort of time every year and it's in a few different locations but we're going to the night in Glastonbury so that'll be coming up next here on the Sandbrook Adventures. Well thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own adventures. adventures. We'll see you in the next video.